Hello everyone and welcome to another video in my survival prepping series. Tonight's video is going to be about the top 10 fruits and vegetables that you can plant at home from scraps from the grocery store. The idea of growing fruits and vegetables from items purchased at the grocery store is both economical and sustainable, fostering a connection between our plates and the soil. Many common kitchen scraps can be transformed into thriving plants, turning your home into a small scale garden and giving you food security for no cost. In this video, we're gonna explore the top 10 fruits and vegetables that you can easily grow from the remnants of your grocery shopping, encouraging a green and eco-friendly lifestyle. The first one we're gonna talk about is potatoes. Potatoes are a kitchen staple and a fantastic candidate for regrowth. Save potato eyes or sprouted potatoes and plant them in the soil. With proper care, you can enjoy a bountiful harvest of homegrown potatoes in your backyard or even in containers on your balcony. The next one is garlic. Garlic cloves are known for their powerful flavors and they also possess the potential for regrowth. You want to separate the cloves and plant them in well-drained soil. Garlic does require some patience, but it will reward you with fresh homegrown bulbs once the plant is established. The next one we're talking about is green onions. And this is an amazing one. You're going to be amazed if you do this and how well these things grow. So what you want to do is save the bottom white roots of the green onions. And you can either plant them in soil or just put them in some water. And rather quickly, they will begin to regrow and they will provide you with an almost continuous supply of fresh green onions for any of your recipes, anything you want to cook. The next one is lettuce. Lettuce hearts and cores are often discarded. But you can use them to grow fresh lettuce at home. What you want to do is place the bottom of the lettuce core in a dish of water. And soon you're going to witness some new leaves sprouting from that core. And then you just simply harvest the new leaves and they'll just keep growing back. The next one is tomatoes. Tomato seeds are easily extracted from ripe tomatoes. You want to allow the seeds to dry and then plant them in the soil. With the proper sunlight and care, you can cultivate your own tomato plants. And each one will provide you with, with many homegrown tomatoes. The next one is bell peppers. Bell pepper seeds can be harvested from the peppers that you are using in your cooking. Now, ordinarily, you would just cut the seeds out and throw them away. But if you save them, you can dry the seeds and then you can plant them in the soil. And as the plants grow, you'll be rewarded with vibrant bell peppers ready to cut up and cook. And then just save the seeds from those again. And you've got a continuous supply of bell peppers. The next one is ginger. Ginger roots purchased from the grocery store can be used to grow your own ginger plants. You want to plant the ginger rhizomes in a pot. And after a few months, you'll have fresh ginger to use in your cooking. The next one is avocado. Avocado pits are ideal for growing your own avocado trees. This one's a little bit harder. It's not just planting it in the soil, but what you want to do is you want to suspend the avocado pit over water with toothpicks until the roots and a shoot emerge. Once the root has emerged, you want to transplant the avocado seedling into soil and just take care of it like you would. You water it, you keep it in the sun, and with patience, you're going to grow your own avocado tree. So that one avocado pit from the avocado you bought at the store is going to turn into a tree that's going to provide you with many, many, many avocados for years to come. The next one is celery. Celery bottoms are usually thrown away, but you can save them and place them in water to initiate regrowth. Once the new shoots appear, you want to transfer the celery to soil. And pretty soon, you're going to have a continuous supply of fresh homegrown celery if you keep reusing the bottoms. 
The next one is pineapple. The crown of a store-bought pineapple is perfect for growing your own pineapple plant. You want to remove the lower leaves to expose the roots and then plant it in soil. While it does take some time, you will eventually be able to enjoy your own homegrown pineapple from the scraps that you would have thrown away. So growing fruits and vegetables from grocery store scraps is a simple yet rewarding practice that connects us to the food that we consume. The top 10 fruits and vegetables that I've mentioned showcase the potential for regrowth and sustainable gardening, even in limited spaces. So you're going to be able to keep growing these things over and over and over again for free, just with the parts that you would have thrown away. By repurposing your kitchen scraps, you're not only reducing food waste, but you're also contributing to a more sustainable and self-sufficient lifestyle for yourself and your family. Transforming your home into a small garden allows you to appreciate the cycle of growth fostering a deeper connection to the food on your table and the environment around you. And it will also save you a lot of money. And the food that you will be producing will be a lot better for you. It's going to have better vitamins and minerals. It's going to not be sprayed with pesticides and all that kind of stuff. It's going to be organic and wonderful. So it's a win-win all the way around. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something from it. And I will catch you on the next one. Until I speak to you again, love many, trust few, and do harm to none. God loves you, and so do I. Bye-bye.